On the 29th of March 2024, Nigerians worldwide were ecstatic as Airpis's inaugural flight P47578 took off from Lagos, Nigeria and landed in Gatwick Airport, London. Nigerian carriers have not been able to successfully run the route on a long-term basis, despite the fact that the United Kingdom happens to be a second home for many. Three Nigerian airlines in the past have flown the Lagos-London routes and all three have come down. First, it was Virgin Nigeria Airways, next Arik Airlines, and then Medview. Meanwhile, this route has been dominated by two major British airlines, British Airways and Virgin Atlantic Airways. These airlines have charged exorbitant amounts of ticket fees and these charges pinch deep into the pockets of an average traveler. However, since Airpace's inaugural takeoff, flight tickets have become more affordable, pushing other foreign airlines flying Nigeria UK route to reduce international airfares. A move which has been described by the CEO of Airpeace, Alan Onyema, as an attempt to prematurely displace Airpeace from the roots. A very devilish conspiracy. Uh, all of a sudden, people are under, uh, airlines are underpricing. Underpricing. That is below the cost. Just in the space what, what, of one month. Yes. Not up to a month. One other airline was advertising $100. Another one, $305, $350. This, if you fill up the entire aircraft and carry people on the wings, it's not even enough to buy your fuel. So why are they doing that? Their governments are supporting them. Their governments are supporting them because Nigeria has been a cash cow for everybody. Now, it begs the question, what other challenges would Airpeas face staying on this route and will they sustain their prices? It has already started encountering some challenges. But they are not unexpected. However, you will imagine that they will get all the support and cooperation that they will need. But in such a market that is keenly contested, you know, for any entrance, one of the most lucrative routes, I must say, out of Lagos, out of Nigeria, the competition will not sit idly and just watch APs take over the market share. We've already seen shock to the market as a result of APC introducing lower fares. I'm hoping that APC has already done its homework, going by the three airlines that you mentioned that have been on that route and they didn't succeed. So already APC has a playbook to have done its homework by learning, from the, learning, get learning lessons from the airlines that have already been on that route and working on their, on their pitfalls so it doesn't happen again. So they have a chance to succeed. I'm confident and I believe that they would have dotted their I's and crossed their T's in the face of a seeming serious competition on that road. We also took to the streets to see the reactions of regular flyers. I think it's um, a step in the right direction. Having Nigerian Airlines, you know, do international flights, it's something we should really applaud and um, encourage. Uh, not just because it helps, it's going to help our economy, because also um, it helps the, our image, you know, generally to know that, you know, Nigerian airlines can, you know, fly internationally. Yes, of course. <laughs> of course, I'm very patriotic. I would, I would fly, I would fly airplanes. It's been very, you know, I think the cultural, um, awareness they're trying to, you know, create with the Chicago, you know, uh, hostesses, air hostess wearing the Asia. It's, it's really beautiful, you know, it's like Nigeria to the world. And then the cuisine they have on the plane, I mean, the testimonies they have of people that have gone, the food is, it's really nice. The menu on the plane is, is good. So yes, I will be flying airplanes to London. Uh, it's a welcome development. Uh, it's a right move in the right direction and um, it's good for the country and for everyone. I'm proud to be a Nigerian for this. I've heard good um, reviews about uh, in terms of the customer experience, in terms of the air hostess and host, how they attend to people on flight and uh, particularly the food that was served on, on, uh, on board. So for everything, I think they, whatever it is, they tick the right boxes for me and I'll go for airpiece. piece. Does Airpeace have what it takes to compete with other airlines flying this route? 
Do they have the resilience to cross all the hurdles the airlines before them had faced? Well, time will tell.